Rotura Quest. In this video, we're going to continue dealing with the subject of arrangement. Last video, it was a short video, we talked about something called the simple speech. Where basically what you do is you tell them what you're going to tell them, then you tell them, then you tell them what you told them. In this video, we're going to talk about another method. This is a method called Monroe's Motivated Sequence. And Monroe's Motivated Sequence is a method of giving a presentation that you've probably seen before. In fact, if you have a television, I can almost guarantee you've seen this, present, this method before. Basically, to sum up Monroe's Motivated se Sequence really fast, there is attention, need, satisfaction, visualization, and action. In the first stage, you do something that gets your audience's attention. It can be all kinds of things. Uh, you could yell at them. That, that actually works. Uh, it's not probably the best method, but you could do it. The main thing is to point out that they have a problem. In one place where I've seen Monroe's motivated sequence used quite a bit, they point out that there's a person and it shows this person, and they're trying to watch TV and eat their snack at the same time. But every time they try and reach for their snack, and they're trying to get their remote with their TV, their blanket knocks over the snacks or makes the remote drop down. It points out that the person has a problem. They're having trouble watching TV and eating a snack. Then you go on after getting their in it their their attention, you point out their need. Something needs to be done. In the example that I talk about, there needs to be some way that you can keep your blanket over you and reach for your snack and reach for your remote. Then you come to the satisfaction. The satisfaction is, I have a solution. I have a solution. I can, you know, I can satisfy your problems, and in the example I'm giving you, that solution is a blanket with sleeves. Then we go into the visualization. The visualization shows us this world where a person can sit with their family and eat, watch TV and eat a snack because they have blankets with sleeves. They can go to sporting events and stay warm and still cheer because they have a blanket with sleeves. It goes through one thing after another and shows you this beautiful world that could exist if you only had a blanket with sleeves. But if you just end it with a visualization, your audience might just go away saying, yeah, man, I wish I had a blanket with sleeves. I don't know how to do that. But they don't do that, do they? Oh, no. When you use Mimino's Renovated Sequence, there's always a call to action. This is call now, 1-800-whatever-it-is. I don't, I don't really know. Now, you call the, the snuggie, you come over, they get the thing, and you say, ah, it is a call now. Attention, need satisfaction, uh, visualization, and action. This can be implemented very well. And the time when you want to use Monroe's Motivated Sequence is when you need your audience to make a quick emotional decision. That's when you use Monroe's Motivated Sequence. It's used very effectively by evangelists. Uh, traveling evangelists who go to various churches, they'll get up and they'll tell people, you know, you've got the problem. Uh, you have a need, and that need is to deal with the sin in your life. Uh, I have a satisfaction. You can come to Jesus. Uh, the visualization, you look at the visualization, and you can, you can see that your life would be so much better if you could just get rid of the sin in your life. They'll tell you about how your life could be better. And then there's a call to action where they ask you to come forward and get forgiveness of your sin. This is done very effectively in those situations. And you get that quick emotional decision. I had a student, and I will always remember this student, who decided that she was going to use Monroe's Motivated Sequence for her presentation. And what she was presenting on was, it was a policy speech, and she was wanting to explain, she was wanting to convince us to no longer text and drive. 
and she used Monroe's motivated sequence. And as she walked around the room, following the presentation, going to each person at the desk, she put down a card. And at the end, she asked us to sign a pledge saying that we would never text and drive. Just about every student in that room signed that pledge. Did they never text and drive again? I really don't know. My guess is probably some of them did. The problem is rampant. But if they did, they had to think about the fact that they had promised not to do that. This is, this is what Monroe's Motivated Sequence does. It gets people to make quick, emotional decisions. It makes you feel like you've got to do it now. That's what they always say. Call now. Operators are standing by. Come down to the front now. If you do it later, uh, you're going to, to check it out. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. And that's what Monroe's Motivated Sequence is great for. I hope that you consider using Monroe's Motivated Sequence. Uh, certainly, it's a more effective arrangement than the simple speech is. Uh, it's one of those things that can get people to just go and just do things. Sometimes, however, you don't want people to make a quick emotional decision. You want them to make a firm, long-lasting decision. And we're going to tell you in the next presentation how you can go about that. So I'll see you as soon as you click on my next video.